Getting busted really sucks, especially if you have ultimate parts that you've just earned. I'm sure you're about tired of it, and that's why you're watching this video. What I'm about to show you is going to blow your mind. Welcome to the Militia Gaming community, I'm Trigger Militia, and here are three easy ways to run from Heat 5 Cops in Need for Speed Heat and earn those sweet ultimate parts. Let's go! The Militia Gaming Community and Dave Loves Games came together to create a community Discord. If you'd like to join the Discord, there's an invite link in the description down below. This is the best way to keep up on what's going on with both of our channels. So make sure you hit that invite link and we'll catch you over there. First of all, we need to get your auxiliary options set up correctly. For evading cops, you have the option between kill switch jammer, damage reduction, and repair kits. I take repair kits all day long because I would rather be able to repair my car quickly and not get busted because they crashed into me or I ran over a spike strip. Kill switch jammer and damage reduction is great for early in the game when your car isn't fast enough to outrun them. In the second auxiliary slot, you have the option of radar disruptor or damage increase. Damage increase is okay, but like I said, you don't want to spend time with the cops. You want to outrun them, and the radar disruptor makes it so that the police's radar is smaller, making it easier for you to evade them quicker. Alright, so now let's get into the methods. If you're taking on Heat 5 Cops, you must have a car that can do over 200 miles per hour, so just drive over 200 miles per hour for an extended time. The cops in this game do not drive faster than 200 miles per hour, and even the helicopters will lose you if you sustain that speed and there are no cop cars within sight. The easiest way to do this is to drive along the highways. It's pretty easy to hold 200 miles per hour on these highways because they're fairly straight sections of road and there are little cross traffic to deal with. When in a chase, use NOS to get to 200 miles per hour as fast as you can, and then stay there for around 10 to 20 seconds or so, and you should definitely lose them, including the helicopters. In some cases, you'll actually lose them before you even hit 200 miles per hour, because cops have a tendency to run into the cross traffic as well. The helicopter won't chase you anymore after you've lost the patrol cars, so just get out of sight of the patrol cars, and the helicopter will leave as well. This next method is super easy, provided that you can get to this location. The Edgewood Valley Mall rooftop will lose the cops shortly after you get onto the roof. Just go to this parking structure, then jump across to the mall rooftop and wait. Even if you have a helicopter on you, as long as the cop cars can't see you, the police presence will disappear. This is by far one of the easiest ways to get rid of them. All you have to do is make it to the mall. Let's take a look at this again and I'll bring a cop with me up these ramps so that you can see these cops do not want to make the jump across to the mall rooftop. So see I've brought this car up here, it's a Corvette. Just simply jump across to the mall rooftop, that car stays where it's at, and immediately I'm escaping the cops because they cannot see me. And this works exactly the same with the helicopter as well. And this last method is also very easy. If you can get to the racetrack, literally drive backwards on the racetrack, keeping your speed at about 180 miles an hour or more, and you will lose all of the cops including the rhinos and the helicopters. Sometimes this takes longer than what I'm showing you here, and sometimes it's very, very quick. The second you have escaped, just park away from the remaining cops in the racetrack to ensure that they leave you alone, and then safely drive back to the nearby garage. Some additional things to know about running from the cops in general are if you're playing in a solo game and you open the map or pause the game, you can do that without getting busted. The second you open your map, the game will pause everything which gives you plenty of time to plan what your next move is going to be. This doesn't work in an online lobby, so be careful of that. Also, cop cars do way more damage than regular traffic cars. Barriers, walls, and buildings also do way more damage than regular traffic cars. So when you're in a situation where you're running from the cops or you're racing and there's a police presence, just choose to hit a moving car before you choose to run into a building or hit a cop car. Your car will take a lot less damage, it'll allow you to either finish the race or run from the cops faster. Just if you have the option between hitting a cop car, a regular civilian car, and a wall or barrier, 
choose the regular civilian car, it will do far less damage to your car and allow you to stay out at night a lot longer. All right, guys, I know I blew through these really quickly, but these are really, really easy methods. But if you have any questions on these methods, you're more than welcome to DM me on Instagram. I answer and read every single message that comes my way. I will try to help you in any way that I can, but these are the three methods that I use to run from the cops, and it is so easy to get away from these cops, it's insane. So if you don't know these methods, this is gonna help you out a lot, and hopefully you can get more and more rep every single night and get those ultimate plus and ultimate parts. Shout out to all the Militia subs. I really appreciate everything you guys have done for this channel. The support has been unreal. I raise a barks to you guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the next one. Trigger out.